All right, so the keyboard and mouse is really handy for this. So uh, first thing you wanna do is go to power and switch to desktop right down here. All right, what we're gonna do is download it first. This is the standalone version. I have a standalone version down here, but uh, oh, oh yeah, I deleted it. So we'll go to the store. Search DCS and the Steam Edition. It works the same way with the standalone. And uh, let's see, where do you free game? Okay, this is I got it. I got my default going to my micro SD. I am going to change that to the Steam Deck because there should be enough room on the actual deck. And that's where we'll download it. And we'll just skip all this part for now. All right, that's done downloading. So now let's go and look at some of the stuff that we're gonna need here. We, okay, not system settings. What is that? It is the app launcher. You are going to need flat seal, proton tricks, and Q4 wine, okay? Okay, let me show you what really makes this work. What really makes this work is once you have this downloaded and this downloaded, you need flat seal, okay? Because what's gonna happen is, you come on down here to Proton Tricks and wine, Q4 wine, okay? What, you, what you're gonna have to do is allow access right here to where it says file systems. This is checked off, okay? It needs to be able to get to your file systems to get to the game to do its thing, okay? So you got to check that on for Proton Tricks to work. And it's the same thing with Q4 Wine. You got to go to file systems, click that on because by default it's off. They don't, the, the two apps don't talk to each other. Uh, quick seal is not quick seal flat seal is what makes everything talk to each other and it seems like what's going on is proton tricks uses q4 wine and q4 wine looks like this q4 wine is this and it seems like what proton tricks needs is this and it does all the little doo -doo 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 stuff to make to make it work. But this is what makes it this is what makes it work. Proton Tricks is what controls it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a guy who just kind of made it work. And um and this is just my logic behind why it works. Alright, so now we got it at this point. One of the first things we want to do is go to it here go to is it properties or is it let's see properties what you want to do is go to compatibility and i'm just going to choose experimental you want to 
put this in here. All right. Very important. So I'll let you probably pause here because I'm trying to get to the point. You can also go to ProtonDB and copy paste it after you've looked at, looked for DCS World. You gotta have that in there. That makes it go. Let's go to Proton Tricks first. All right, let's see. This is my non-steam, this is my non-steam uh, DCS World, but it sees DCS World here. So let's go ahead and click it after we've gone into Proton Tricks. Create a new win prefix. Architecture is gonna be 32 bit. Name, I'll just call it D DCS Steam Ed. Cool, that'll work. Is creating it. Give it a second or a minute. All right, now we want to install DDL content. And the ones we're gonna want is the D3D compiler, the 47 one. That's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need direct. I don't know which one you need of the DirectX 10 or DirectX 9, but I've done both and they work. And so you're going to need the DID, the DID, it's the diagnostic one. So which one is it? Uh, diagnostic. There you go. The DX DAG. You're going to need that one. So just for review, you're going to need these three. Give me a second to get a good look at it. And then you got to scroll down and you're going to need that one. All right, click okay. All right, we've given that a minute. Now we got that associated with it. Now we're going to try and run it. And I'm actually going to move this to the side just a little bit, just so I could just see what all is going on everywhere. And there you go. So I hope that helps. I hope that clears some things up. Uh, yeah, you can do your sign in here and all that stuff like that. Or you can skip it. I'm just gonna skip it for right now because I don't have anything 
on here. So now we're gonna go back to um blah 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 mode. What is this? Game game mode. Hey everybody, I think I'm seeable. <laughs> All right, we gonna click on this and we just we just gonna go for a quick little play. Hold on, let me see. Cause I do have some controls here. This is my P51 configuration and it's in there. Uh, play. Now, hold on, let me back out real quick. This is my Steam Edition, which I just downloaded. This is my uh, standalone version over here. Uh, this is the one that I mostly play with. And I'll show you guys how to get that going. Probably in another video if you need me to. But you pretty much do the same thing. It's just route it to the SD card. And then you have to uh, install it as a non-Steam game to Steam. And follow the same the same procedures but if you need a video for that i will gladly make you one uh i may just i may just show you where that's at if you're interested i may just show you where to find the file for that once you download it but for all you people who's just like i'm here for the steam edition uh I guess after this demo, heck, you already got what you came for. Uh, so you guys can bail if you want to not even see the demo. Um, but yeah, if you want to see where the files are as the non-Steam Edition stuff goes, I feel like I'm rambling. Just hang in there. It's always slow on the first boot. And we will just not bother with that for right now. And I want to show you the settings that I got for this to get like the best play out of it. There's also a way that you can go into the graphics Lua. I think it's in the configuration folder. You can go into graphics Lua and lo Lua and lower the graphics, the frames per second. But as you can see here is now let's see I let's pause that and just bring this up. Um right now it's running at 30 frames per second. I have found that 20 works great. Uh per game, we'll go ahead and say. And I'll just show you some of the performance on this. 20 frames. You really don't have to mess with any of the other stuff. And it is smooth, smooth, smooth. Now, there are some other adjustments that I would have to make here, but... You can see I'm controlling the throttle down there. Let me see here. See, I can look around, controlling the throttle. It is very weird flying with the phone between me and what I got going on here. Let's see.
can see where is the port. Okay. Did I have my gear down? Where is the gear on this plane? Uh, the flaps are there. I need to trim this thing out. These are not my updated controls, so I don't, I'm not even sure what's where around here. But it is smooth, smooth, smooth at 20 frames per second. Oh. <laughs> Break, break, break. And there we go. A successful landing. Let's take a look and see what we got here. <laughs> ah, no gear. Mm. Did I? Ah. <laughs> okay, anyway. But, um... Yeah, we'll exit out of this. Close. And we'll just exit this way. But yeah, that's that's that on that. Another thing real quick. Power. If you're doing the standalone, this is where your stuff is. It is down here at the bottom. Primary, okay? Uh, up here, be sure to do the show hidden files thing. Uh, they, by default, Valve has it to where you can't mess with more sensitive stuff that really isn't all that sensitive. But let me back this up just in case you're listening. Uh, primary. Under primary, you're going to go to Steam Apps. Under there, you're going to go to Compa Data or Compa Data. And I just made a folder here. And when I downloaded it, I made this folder beforehand. In the camp and the comp data file folder because that's where Steam downloads apps for you anyway. So this is some other game. I can't remember which one it is. It's probably the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is um, Flight Simulator, and this is DCS World. DCS World again and. Your bin folder, that is where you're going to find your EXE for the game. Let's see. Where is it? Is this, is it the updater EXE that, that I got tied to? I think this may be the EXE that you need to import to the steam to make it a steam game uh i really think so let's see let's do it by name dcs ah dcs exe that's the one you need for the steam input okay so if you're doing standalone this is where you need this is the one you need to import and then it's just gonna run off of that so if there's any questions, just drop them in the comments. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just didn't have the setup. So uh, take care. Safe flying.
or something cool. I wish I had a cool exit phrase. Bye. Bye.